god, the, the, the match is ready. Mm, I'm, I'm nice with it. As we jump back into the match, uh, it appears we've got two new players. It's actually Waffles and MKL Rising uh, in this one. Uh, Ness versus Sonic. What does Ness need to do here to... Uh, how does how does Ness really battle or stack up against the Sonic? So, lovely, fantastic, and amazing question. Um, and I feel quite qualified to answer that one. So, <laughs> something Ness really needs to take advantage of. A uh, couple of really specific things. One, you are not going to be getting a lot of grounded PK fighters on Sonic. It's just good up not happening. Unless they're only committing to complete horizontal side beats, which... You know, most confident Sonics are, are not going to be doing, right? This, this is Waffle. We've seen uh, them play quite a bit before. Um, you can't be over committing like that. You leave yourself so vulnerable. you right inside of Sonic's post range. It's a lot of don'ts, more so than do's. What's really important is that you full hop, uh, because that's an airspace that Sonic can't actually really challenge. Uh, your goal as Nest in the Sonic matchup is to actually play in the air more so than you would think. Uh, and when you're on the ground, making good use of your down tilt. Down tilt is a fantastic way to stuff out uh, a lot of Sonic's approaches. Wow, great down throw into the forward air, catching the mistech on the plat. I really liked that uh, that forward air, the drag down into the grab too, to start that uh, combo. Unfortunately though, for MKL Rising, uh, you know, being doubled in percent right now by the Waffles. Waffles has done a very good job of quickly weaving in and out and getting small hits of damage here and there. Yeah, but Waffle, wow, almost able to find a kill. The Ness is so heavy. Well, he's not heavy, but just heavy enough to be able to live that interaction. Ooh, MKL Rising could have definitely held that up smash on shield. It's a little bit of a vibe check of a move. You can keep holding it on somebody's shield. If they drop it, it can shield poke. Um, it could even break shield sometimes. It's it's a it's a funky move for sure. Um, but MKL already taking 55% waffle is just all over them. Yeah, you can tell the oppression does not stop here. The forward smash coming out, leading to an edge guard situation. Trying to edge guard with that spring. You'll see Sonic's trying to do that a lot against uh, characters like Ness and Lucas, but. Uh, the spring not powerful enough to really do anything about it. And again, you'll see Waffles, he'll be going for that F smash a lot, trying to read whatever the get up option from ledge is. And the yo-yo now coming out, not gonna be able to hit the second one, but he's gonna get oh that dash boy. attack and that's what gonna secure the first stop. Yeah, no, Waffle definitely looked a little bit tripped up. So, you know, granted, MKO was not completely anticipating Waffle being able to snap onto the ledge. It looked a little bit flustered, but what a way to take that stock. Either way, this is a huge leap for Waffle right now. Uh, they really have no incentive to approach at this point. Able to somehow pass through Ness's F smash. What a note. That, I don't even know what to say about that one. I think he held down on the forward smash a little too long, and now... 54% on his last stock. MKL Horizon is going to have to play very carefully. Mm-hmm. Wait, right MKL just sort of dashing back and forth. Ooh, that side B on shield is not safe at all from that distance. You're going to have to double jump, cancel your PK fire uh, onto somebody's shield and be able to land with it if you don't want any chance at being safe. And this was this was quite the sweep. Waffle was really confident to stop. Yeah, great job catching the landing there on that last stock to secure the two stock victory for Waffles and Sienna. Add another two points to Sienna's total score. That makes it seven to two wow. and threatening uh, a wide lead here as you t just take a look at this matchup and it felt like Waffles really from the start, even though it felt very close, was just all over MKL. Yeah, um, MKL was whiffing a whole lot, especially with the last stock. Uh, we saw how anxious MKL was to be able to land a hit with the tech, with smash attack, with a full hop forward air. Um, and all Waffle did was waited, saw the opening, said, you're probably gonna burn all of your resources and land with a button here. And you know what, sure enough, MKL did, and Waffle was able to get in there and punish. Uh, and the best thing with Ness that you can do against a Sonic matchup is break space. You know, you, you can't always be anticipating his approaches. You gotta be full hopping in and drift through the skies. Yeah, and uh, that is gonna be something too uh, for later on in the match is, you know, in situations like a, that last stock or, you know, if Ness is going to the air to try and, you know, play the matchup a little bit better, he's gotta land at some point and that's where you see Waffles taking advantage, mm -hmm. especially on that last stock. So 
uh, very volatile uh, in that sense. And I'm curious to see uh, where we go next in terms of stage selection. Uh, where would you go if you were the Ness here? It's it's Sonic, it's Ness. I want to interact with Sonic. I want to go small. You know, I want to be seeing Smashville. I want to be seeing Lila. I want to be seeing Yoshi Story. Me personally, I also have a little bit of a pre uh, preference for Battlefield, but that just so happens to be me. We see one of them hopping out of the arena. I hope everything is good with them. Um, but um, I don't know. Just just making sure to really keep it small, but. Honestly, in a, in a stage format with three bands, we're going to be seeing those small stages go away first. Uh, and then I, at this point as Ness, I would just settle for whatever is left. I would settle through Battlefield, settle through small Battlefield. Well, we shall see. Remember, if Waffles wins this match here, this set, he gets the extra two points for winning the set. And that would extend Sienna's lead to a very large margin, as this is only the second best of three between these two colleges. And already MKL Rising putting on some pressure here on FD. Yeah, no, that was a really good catch on the landing with PK Fire there. Um, you have to be able to punish Sonic on those landings. You have to punish uh, some of his open commitments on shield. I'm um, gonna right now MKL is looking a little bit more confident and neutral, but still waiting too many buttons that they really shouldn't be from an unsafe distance. Uh, again, like you really shouldn't be going through as many rising, uh, you know, options to stuff out. You know, Sonic's approaches more often than not, it's the falling ones uh, that tend to do the most. Ooh, interesting weave there. Looked like made it look like he was going to ledge and then actually backed off and. Great jump just catch. through waffles but the forward smash not gonna quite do it yet the air dodge back to ledge finds the back air and now the situation has been flipped on its head waffles has to find a way back air dodge is gonna be able to grab the ledge the down smash gonna come through though and the yo-yo takes the first stock wow uh i must say that's a really good edge guard attempt from mko but i would like to see some more down smash attempts rather than up smash ones because the angle at which up smash sends you just by how late that move kills, um, you're gonna more often than not sometimes be helping your opponent uh, in situations where down kill with down smash would easily take that stock. So just like a quick little switch in priority uh, would be able to really pay MKL some dividends. A couple times now that we've seen MKL Rising use that up B right before grabbing the ledge, and it looks like it leaves him vulnerable for a second. On the other hand, that up B does cover what appears to be enough space to mitigate any chance of him being two framed before grabbing that ledge. But it's something to look forward to as this match continues to see how many times he opts for that type of recovery. Ooh, interesting up B uh, as Sonic pressuring him and right back to basically even percent. Yeah, right back to even percent. Great catch on the whiff neutral B. Uh, but both of them are just sort of exchanging little hits here and there while just being able to barely pass through Sonic's F smash. Uh, that means that Kale's gonna be living to see another day. That the eye on the up smash was not optimal, but you know what? That's exactly what he needed to be able to clean up that stock count. Run up up smash, not something you see a ton, but. Good recognition from MKL Rising, realizing he could pull it off. Now 23% on the Sonic at this point, and a little bit more being racked up here by this quick string. Make it 57. He wanted the PK Rocket. Almost got it too, but great recognition by Waffles to get out of the way. Yeah, no, PK can do too from that position can be an interesting commitment. Um, if they do tend to go for like a lot of shields, or, uh, you know, or, or the three rolls. Uh, it can go into some nasty setups. Oh my goodness, Waffle going so far up the ceiling. And just like that, they, they evened it up. Falling up there into F-tilt? What is, in the world was that setup? This is getting dangerous now. One stock game and MKL rising. If he loses this one, that Sienna lead looks very large. Still plenty of time left, but it would be difficult and Canisius would need a lot. 54% on MKL Rising to the 116, they the didn't forward follow smash. Through. They skidded at the last possible second and MKL found the F smash. So unfortunate. Uh, Waffle definitely had a good idea, but not really sure what happened in the last, uh, the last interaction. Just want to play that one back really quick. 
So Sonic finds his way back to stage, and you see the dash through and the yeah. quick dash back forward smash. You're absolutely right. Just does not extend through. far enough. Hmm. I guess that's really interesting. You could always be looking for Sonic to sort of maybe overcommit uh, in those instances. You never see them like fully complete that animation either. They usually like jump out of it or uh, we finish it with something else. So that was definitely a little bit odd to see. But really good on MKL for being wary of that situation. Uh, was able to find the F smash nonetheless and clean up the stock. And that was a big stock too, as Canisius earns themselves another point to make that score three to seven. And now if you're Sonic, you've got the stage counter pick. Where are you going to take Ness? Uh I want space. I'm gonna go to Kalos. I'm gonna go to Town and City. Uh, so as long as Kalos and Town and City are, are, are on the map, man, you know, like I, I never have to get out of my corner. I get to play my game. I get to do exactly what I want. Uh, that's exactly what I would take Ness if I was Sonic because, man, let me tell you, pain and suffering is the only way to describe that stage in that matchup. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic absolutely favors the space. The his ability to, you know, that spin dash. Uh, the fact that he can do just about anything out of it and and still rack up so much percent uh, is so prevalent uh, on and it works on the fact that it works on any character just makes Sonic such a good character. Uh, for MKL Rising, uh, this is a big match for him. Uh, he is he has been on the roster since Canisius joined the EGF, and this is kind of his big moment to shine. Sienna currently are defending champions after season one of the EGF and looking to hold their title. They are the number one seed uh, wow. in the EGF overall and in the MAC conference. So Canisius trying to pull off an upset here, and if they are going to do so. MKL Rising has to beat Waffles, but I mean the way Waffles has been playing, uh, it, it's this game is going to be a very difficult match. Um, absolutely, uh, and there are definitely still some more adjustments to be had from MKL and how they're approaching neutral and how they're whiffing, but they seem to be getting a little bit more comfortable as they go on. And just as suspected, here we are in Kalos. I would say it's a surprise, but. It's not in the slightest. I would like to see some bigger punishes. Sonic is in exceptionally long end lag uh, as soon as he hits the ground with, with neutral B. He, you just, you just, you, you're a sitting duck, honestly. Already some percent racked up and Waffles struggling to make it back to ledge here, but he will be able to grab it. 63 to 16 in terms of percent. And now the battle for stage control begins. Who will find the first hit? And they both kind of back off now and still looking for an opening. Mm -hmm. Right now, MKL just, uh, wow, really good stock lead for themselves. You know, Sonic's not somebody who's going to be putting on 50% that quickly. Uh, just sort of keeping Waffle off stage. Can a neutral get up right into that yo yo? But the way that MKL has been using yo yo, Waffle to go for a lot more get up attacks from the ledge. Uh, it's the most consistent counter to play to it, so as long as you're able to react to it properly. How does Waffle make it back? Good spin dash just goes straight for MKL, not really suspecting it either. And now dancing along this platform, the pressure on shield and the nair pokes through and the first stock goes to MKL rising. I think calling it pressure was very nice of you. It was <laughs> maybe you know, a little, little bit of mashing, but that's okay because it's, it's Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Can't spell Smash without mash. Um, MKL press a whole lot of buttons, and uh, Ness is kind of blessed with the privilege of uh, having every single aerial capable of killing. Um, so, you know what? Good on them for recognizing that situation that, you know what? I can get away with pressing buttons there. Goes for the dashback PK file, but Waffle decides just to tech out for, uh, you know, resetting the situation. Ooh, they could have gone for the second PK Thunder after they hit themselves onto the ground, but MKL was probably just trying to escape. 59% on this second stock, and now Waffles with stage control, trying to find the back air there, could not land it. And there's the forward smash. MKL, he'd gotten a little greedy trying to, you know, hang around that ledge a couple times without throwing out a, a quick hitbox, and Waffles finally there to punish it. Yeah, Waffles right now just sort of dashing around, trying to maybe get a grab, not really sure what they're looking for specifically from the grab, but uh, was really doing anything to catch MKL's 
landing. Uh, and Kale right now is having really good domain over, you know, the airspace. Uh, you know, Nair is an amazing tool to stuff out Sonic. As long as you're doing it preemptively, uh, more often than not, you can catch him on a lot of these approaches. Well, I like the idea to mix it up and go for the neutral B to cover the ledge just in case Waffles goes back to it, but good adjustment by Waffles to not go back. And now the edge guard situation, Getting Waffles right got to find a way back down. Yeah, and Waffles just keeps finding themselves getting up into it. But again, every time that MKL has connected an up smash, I thought to myself, wow, you know what would have killed? Down smash instead. But that time, you know, in that instance, uh, you know, Waffle had more than enough percent to die off the top. Um, ooh, that's a really good PK file, but MKL is going to respect that, gave it a little bit too much space. They weren't expecting that one to connect or uh, for Waffle to drop their shield. Waffle not extending that up B combo. We saw him in the last two matches. If he gets that uh, up air out of the up B, he'll sometimes go for the, the second jump and use something like Nair to try and extend it and kill off the top. But I believe he kind of pulled back on it knowing Kalos has such a high ceiling, it probably wouldn't have worked. At 132 though, this Nest doesn't have much time left unless he can get some extra percent here. 58 racked up after that extra little damage after that combo and again i feel like mkl's rising or mkl rising stage control here has really kind of yeah they just waffle catching second all guess. of these dash ins from waffle waffle needs to be going through more jumps from that position or you just sort of wait and react to the pk file because you can wait and react to it you can jump uh past it's in fact it's uh very doable and very consistent counter play but waffles really not going for it able to get the up smash on mkl shield mkl dropping the shield just a little bit too early and now they're back into running going for the pk flash that was such a brilliant pk flash forcing waffle to burn his double jump because that's what pk flash really is if somebody jumps into it somebody jumps into it but more than anything, it is a tool that scares opponents. It makes you either jump or it makes you air dodge. You do anything else and you'll kind of explode. That move has no end lag to it whatsoever. So as soon as uh, MKL was able to set up that juggle, burn the jump, uh, and because Waffle ran out of resources, MKL was able to find the other. So that was really smart use of PK Flash. You're not really looking to connect the PK Flash, you're looking to see what your opponent does. And if they do something a little bit too predictable or antsy, they make the wrong choice, you can blow them up with it with a completely other move. That was really, really smart from, uh, from MKL. On top of that, that was one of the first times we'd seen MKL really use up air, right? We, yeah. we typically see him use something like up B or, uh, you know, it was actually mostly up B or forward air uh, whenever Sonic was above him trying to recover. We never saw him use up air. And finally, the one time, you know, that neutral B comes out, baits out the jump, and then kind of at that point, Sonic is just stuck floating in the air after, after that spin dash. So great stuff to MKL to uh, take that set. And with that, the scoreline now is seven to six.